Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing well. So today I am coming with some spooky DIYs. I'm starting off with this, which I have made for a previous project. So if you haven't seen this, it's basically just the backings of some photo frames. So what you want to do is remove this and remove that, which is really pretty easy to do. You can use some pliers if you have to, and then just sand this little area here because you'll have two holes and then stick it together. You can also nail it, but I did just use hot glue to have this formation here. So let's see how many I used. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six in total. And then I painted it all black and just distressed it. I went over it with, I think like a light gray color. So it looks pretty spooky, I thought. So I'm going to use this as my structure. And I'm basically just going to decorate this. I'm taking this, which looks again, really spooky and goes with this. It's actually the same color. So I'm placing this at the bottom and you can hot glue these in, but I tend to reuse everything so I don't. Then I picked this up from my garden. I just thought it looks really weird and I thought this is going to look really great inside here. So I'm going to place it on the side and I will hot glue that in. And then for the side I'm taking this paper bat and I'm going to hot glue that just a drop. And then on the side, I have these little mice. I think I'm going to place one here as though he's running up. Now I've got this cat holding a pumpkin and it does have these dangly legs, which I don't like. So I'm going to cut it off and then we're just going to stick the boot in this area here. So it looks like he's just sitting down. I find it's best to use pliers to do this because they just come out really easily. Now we've got the little booties. So take your hot glue if you're using the same cat as I am, or if you don't like dangly legs and you find things with dangly legs, know that you can rescue it and just secure that like this, make sure it's nice and straight. And look at that, it looks like that's how it's meant to be. So just go with the second one now. Now we're going to bring the house back and put him in the center and he fits perfectly. Then I'm taking this miniature broomstick and placing that alongside the kitty. You can stick this in if you want. And then I've thrifted this little cauldron, which I really love. I love everything that's miniature. And this is some faux spider web. So I thought I'm going to add this here as though it's like steam coming out of the cauldron. So add a little hot glue to that. And we'll stick that alongside the kitty on the other side. Now I'm taking these small pumpkins, which are actually dried fruit. They're called put cup pods. So I just order these and I add a little stick so it looks more like a pumpkin. And I'm going to secure that with hot glue right next to the tree, the spooky tree. I want to illuminate it a little bit just to make it look more spooky. So I'm taking this push light, I'm going to add it to the back at the bottom here and I'm going to use double sided tape to do this. So add it to the back of your switch light so that you can still access the battery if you need to, you just tug it off and it will come off very easily. So I've added two strips here and then just remove the backing and secure it in place. I'm going to place it in from the back just so nothing moves from the front. And then to finish off, you can take some faux spider web and decorate it however you like. So here's our first project from today. I love that I repurposed this from a previous project, at least the structure that is. I love the mini cauldron and the bat and also that 
bit of light, that spotlight that it gives, it just really brings the whole piece to life. I love the spooky tree as well. I don't really like graphic, gory kind of stuff, so this is my kind of style. This is how it looks when you turn the light off, so again, you can see the silhouette of everything at the top, and then it's really bright at the bottom. Oh, I'm just laughing at how we've got the legs just randomly on the table left there. The next DIY is going to be pretty easy and quick but I do like it, it's quite effective. So I'm taking this mug in the shape of a cauldron, I really love the design of this. And then I'm taking this which you can use toy stuffing, this is just a full spiderweb I've been using. And then you want some fairy lights and you can grab these, blue, purple, red, get those kind of colours that look a bit spooky. And you still have access but what you want to do is just place it at the back so you don't see it and then stuff that in. Then place your toy stuffing or your spider web inside. You see how that really brings it to life. I love this. And just shape it however looks right to you. And then you can take any ornament like this crow here I'm going to add to the handle. And then you want to sprinkle a little bit of spooky insects on top of the cauldron. Got some spiders, ants. So really nice and easy as I mentioned. I have actually made something like this before when I made a little gnome to go with it and honestly that was one of my favourite projects of all time. I just had to recreate it with the cauldron alone just to show you. Look at how effective it looks. For the next project I'm taking this box. I'm just going to be reusing it. I'm going to snip this up here. So just have a look around if you have saved a box. This is going to be handy. It's kind of like a diorama I'd say. Then I've printed this off the internet and I'm going to add it to some card. If you can print directly onto card, that's super. Mine just keeps jamming. So I'm going to stick it down and then cut it to size. taking this paint pen just to add a few stars so I've placed the background in my box I didn't actually need to stick it down because it was really snug then you want some rocks or slates like this and place them in the corner you can hot glue these down I'm stacking three on top of each other This is how I have stacked mine and then I'm taking my wool figurine and I'm going to glue him on top. How awesome is that with the moon in the background? I decided to turn it around because it was blocking the moon too much so just sticking that down again. And then adding a little hot glue just for his feet to hold him. Now I found this in the park so I want to add a little bit of detail on the floor. I'm going to just cut this and glue it. I also needed to cover the mistake I made earlier. some dried flowers to decorate on the side so I think this is lavender let me just have a look yeah this is lavender and I thought purple's just lovely on black then we're going to stick some things here that look like trees again all of these are just from my hikes and they're like dried plants and flowers 
I have to say that this project is my favourite from today. I have wanted to create this for the longest time and I love making these kind of miniature scenes in boxes, recycling, reusing things as well. So as always, let me know your favourite in the comments below. I hope that you have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.